Hello everyone, I am Miss Carmen from the Pflugerville Public Library and I want to welcome you to Kids Club today. Kids Club is an arts and crafts program for children ages 5 to 8. Every week during the summer we have been making a craft that you are able to complete with materials that you hopefully have available at home. Today we're going to make a torn paper owl. Let's go over the materials that we will need and also the tools. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a hole punch. I, I used a one inch and a one inch and a half one, but you can also replace this with little can, lids, any circles you have at home. You just need a bigger one and a smaller one. And glue. You'll also need a lot of glue. Let's get started then. We will use for this project a piece of blue paper for the background. And we will use some brown paper. I have two shades of brown, a strip of orange paper, and some yellow paper because that's the color I pick for the eyes, but that doesn't have to be that way. And also you need some black construction paper. Very well. I have my paper on the table. I, You can see that I did pre-cut circles. Two big yellow ones and two black ones that are smaller. And I have one strip of orange paper. To start the owl, what I did is that I actually shaped the owl with glue on the paper and then you'll use some torn paper to glue on it. Let me show you how. I will just do the top of the owl right now, okay? So owls are kind of round, right? Well. I have to tell you that owls are some of my favorite animals. I like how wise they are, or at least they say they are. Okay, so this is the top of my owl, and here I'm going to make the ears. I suggest that you pick a bright color for this project. For the background, it looks a lot better, and I will show you in a minute why. Also, since we don't want to transfer turns, I figured uh, figured out that you can get your fingertip a little wet on the glue that you have used to grab the piece of paper that you have torn, and that way you are not putting your finger in your mouth. Sometimes grabbing this paper gets a little complicated. And, see, there you go. You have to be kind of generous with the, with the glue so that the papers actually stick. But you can do it in sections, like I said. I'm doing the top of the owl right now. And you just shape it. Give it shape. It doesn't. I mix two colors. You can mix more browns if you have more browns, or you can use just one if that's all you have. If you don't have brown construction paper, a lunch bag will work for an owl. But there is all kinds of animals that you can do using this technique. And that is something I want to mention. I want. I really want you guys to use the techniques that we go over. To make whatever you want and to use it at home even when it's not for the same project that we're doing right now. Anyway, this is the idea how you glue the paper on the glue and you shape your owl like that. Remember when I said that you wanted to use a bright color? The reason is that it looks much better on blue than on green. But I did it and I'm just going to finish it. 
So once you have shaped the owl, then you go into the details. I have the pre-cut eyes. I'm going to put glue on them. And glue them to the body. And if you choose a bright color, it's going to look really nice. So, and um, with the strip of orange paper, we're going to fold a little bit, about an inch or so, and cut a triangle out of it. I'm right-handed, so I do one side and then I flip it and I do the other side. And it becomes a beak that opens when you glue it like that. So it gives it a nice touch. Our owl needs little feet. So with the leftover paper, we just cut strips, short strips, and I'm going to need six. And I will create the legs here. You see how I spread the glue first and then I do the paper, but you don't have to do it that way. I just want to get all kinds of glue in my fingers. cut this one in half first before I glue it because I need to do that on the other one. And there you have it. That's your torn paper towel. Very good. We are all done. I hope you had fun making your torn paper owl. Don't forget you can make all kinds of animals. You can use them for covers on greeting cards for people that you care for, or you can use them for an art display in your house. Please join us next week. Happy summer, everyone. <laughs>